Hoo-hoo, everybody. I tell you, this week was exhausting. I had some revelations where my future path should lead or could lead or which path I would be motivated to walk upon. <laughs> and this is good because I was very torn what I should do in the future because I have to earn more money than my web fiction and my merchandise and my animation works at the moment produce, right? So I have the option to concentrate on these tasks, but concentrate 10 times harder, dial it up to 9000. <laughs> and I really considered it, yeah? But I liked my old job, you know? And I now had this year where I concentrated mainly on artistic stuff and I really believe it's time for me to go back to a more logical occupation. <laughs> You know, if you say what kind of brain power you use, so you use definitely a lot of your brain in writing and really different parts as well. But the analytical part of my brain, I haven't used that much because I have got a bit of problem with the analytical parts of writing, like editing. I would count editing as a more analyzing activity because it analyzes on a grammar issue and not really on a problem solving issue. I mean, if you have overarching problems with your plot, then of course, yes. Let's say the way I do this part of writing isn't in the same way analytical than analyzing software problems and solving software problems. Like there are differences in the creative aspect as well. Creating software and creating books. There are similar parts, like you want to have a good user experience, which is named usability <laughs> in information technologies. Oh well, I mean, this is a really exciting topic and I have to think more about it and maybe make a separate video. But let's summarize. I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for a job for a while, yes? And I didn't know what kind of job, if I should do a more menial job, that my creative resources will be free for writing, or should I do a more demanding job to get new challenges and inspirations in my life. And I had been on the side of more menial job the whole time, but there were things blockading me to go forward with this plan. So I browsed some job offerings and I found two days ago a really great job offer. Great in the sense that it spoke to me on an emotional level. And what's important for me is that I feel qualified and fitting for a job. They had a section, what we are looking for in you or something like this. And they had four bullet points and I felt like, yes, totally, I can offer this to the employers. It's one of my absolute strengths. It's one of the things I really enjoy doing. And this was with all the four parts. So great, yes. I was really motivated, so I wrote an application and sent it just today. So great. Good, what did I do on the writing front? I finally caught up again. I have one chapter of Advantage. I haven't read more chapters of OHA because no free intellectual resources with me angsting about my future and my regular writing. And birthday season is beginning. 
So many of my friends and family had their birthdays already or they will get their birthday soon, me including. Then I lost two patron, not good, and one patron drastically reduced their contribution. I mean, thank you, dear Patreons, for supporting me this long. One of them was my first Patreon, so thank you very much, Dennis. He is an acquaintance of mine, a friend, a colleague, a lot of things. I was, I still am very thankful that he supported me a whole year and you know how people are. If there's a Patreon account with no one in it, nobody joins. So Dennis broke the ice and I'm internally thankful for it to him. So a bit sad, but I totally understand his part. And because people are sheep, it's usual. So if one person cancels their subscription, that a lot of people follow immediately. Yeah, meh, sheep. <laughs> I mean, and still love you, Patreons, even if you are sheep. On the positive side, I have a returning Patreon one who supported me a while back and then cancelled his subscription or their subscription and now they joined again so welcome back prana from my other stats it isn't looking that well as well royal road i was at 879 but fell back to 877 this is the first week I had zero growth in web novel, but I had very, very big growth in ScribbleHub. I believe around 20 or between 20 and 30 new subscribers. So great. I believe I really have to thank VBS for it because these platforms appreciate it if you interact with the stories and he posted a toast account below every chapter. Big thanks to VBS. Then YouTube, a bit of growth, a decrease in Patreons. Yes, that was my week. I had two animations projects. One I can't show you, but I will show you the other. What do you say? Ah, oh, I love it. I think it's mega cute. And I'm very proud of the animation as well. You can see that all the dodos are breathing. And I have small movements of their hands. And a bit of foliage is raining down, leaves and their hair is flattering in the wind so uh, the tail yeah i i really like it and i'm pretty proud of it glowing amulets yeah great for next week i'm looking forward to an eventual talk about my future my oh whatever yeah so the next week uh, won't be as full as this week which is great i believe the next birthday is a few days away very good i want to concentrate on writing and i have to do one big administrative task as well that's it so wish you a great week and see you next week. Bye bye.